Uh, when I first started in business, what would happen is, is that Byron Ween, the great legendary Byron Ween, would have a couple people over like us. And what he would say is, okay, I need you in two minutes to give me where you are and then give me your best idea. And then we would kick things around. But that's how we would start. Sarge, two minutes and best idea. Oh, jeez. Yeah, well, come on. We got right. a red hot market. We don't have time for OGs. <laughs> well, we're coming in long the banks. We've been along the banks all along. I know you have. Fantastic. And I've been beating that drum. But as we get into this tax cut era, okay. All right, we're probably going to see higher earnings. And earnings have already been on a roll for four to six months now. Right. So as we project higher earnings based on the tax cut, we don't really know about the value added tax or, or the border adjustment right. yet. But as we get there, we're probably going to, going to want to steer towards still the financials because we still think we're going to get the three rate mm -hmm. hikes, but smaller cap financials. Firms that haven't been, that have maybe pay a higher effective tax rate than they okay. should. Okay. So they're going to see a greater benefit from the tax cut. And we want those firms to be domestic in nature. So we would want. Oh, well, you're going to look at the Bank of the Ozarks and you're going to look at Key Bank, which I'm already long. Well, you know, I think Beth Mooney's a fabulous manager, so we will kick that around. Uh, that stock is so far behind the market. If you it look is. long term, people say it's moved up so much, that's ridiculous.